All right. How about we talk about examples where you are dealing with uh, higher roots, maybe something like cube roots or even uh, fourth roots. How would you rationalize those denominators? So let's say we have something like this. We'll go ahead and take a look at this example. You have cube root of 5 uh, over 16. So the first thing we want to start by doing is uh, use our quotient rule and split this up into two um, radicals, two separate radicals, okay? Now 16 is again one of those numbers that you can simplify it further and the way you do that is write 16 as a product of 8 times 2 because again we know that 8 is a perfect cube so you can bring 8 outside the cube root symbol. Now sometimes people get confused with cube roots and square roots. Remember cube root is where you take a number to the third power okay its inverse is 2 to the third is 8 and cube root of 8 will be 2. Okay so be careful don't confuse this with square roots and since this is talking about terms of the third power when you rationalize these denominators, it's going to look very different from what we did for uh, square roots here. Okay, so once you go ahead and simplify this, you will end up with cube root of 5 over 2 times cube root of 2. Okay? So what can you multiply uh, this expression into so that you can get rid of the radical at the bottom. Alright, let's go back and look at our example here. Now we are talking about cube roots here. Okay? This same logic that we used for square roots is not going to work with our cube roots here. So if you have cube root of 2 and you want to get rid of it, you have to have something here that will give you cube root of 2 to the third because remember a cube will cancel out a cube root and not a square. So how do we do that? You will have to take cube root of 2 and multiply that into cube root of 4. Why? Because 4 times 2 will give you 8, okay? Cube root of 8 is the same thing as cube root of 2 to the third power, um, or you can write this as cube root of 2 to the third inside, doesn't matter, okay? Again, the cube root cancels out the cube, and you are left with 2 as your answer, as you would have here. Okay, so be careful when you're working with cube roots. All right, coming back to our original example here. So we need to multiply this by cube root of 4. Okay. And again, remember, when you're multiplying radicals, they have to have the same index. So 5 times 4 will give you 20. And then this will give you 2 times again. 4 times 2 will give you 8. You cannot simplify cube root of 20 anymore, so you leave it as it is. And then here, you of course end up with 2. Cube root of 8 is also 2, so 2 times 2 will give you 4 as your answer. And your final answer will be cube root of 20 over 4. Again, remember, this will be 2 times 2. Cube root of 8 is 2, and that's how you end up with the 4 in your denominator there. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example with a cube root so we can be sure that we understand this. All right, this time you have negative cube root of 6x over y square. Start out by applying the quotient rule and you'll end up with cube root of 6x over cube root 
of y squared. Now again, you have cube root of y squared in your denominator. You're trying to rationalize the denominator, which again tells us we need at least a third power. Now you have y to the second. If you take one more y, you'll end up with y to the third. So this time, we multiply our expression with only cube root of y. Again, why did we do that? Because y squared times y will give you y to the third, and a third power will cancel out the cube roots. So let's go ahead and multiply these. Again, don't forget that negative sign in the front. Cube root of 6x, cube root of y, you can combine those. Multiply it, and you will end up with cube root of 6xy. And this will be over cube root of y squared times cube root of y will give you cube root of y to the third. That's why we only multiplied with just one y, because this is what we were looking for. y to the third, uh, the third power will cancel out the cube root. And this is what your final answer will look like, negative cube root of 6xy over y. And that's your final answer. Okay? We want to try and look at examples where we are talking about the fourth power. So just like we did with the cube roots, you have to be careful working with the fourth uh, index or the fourth root. So let's look at an example with the fourth root of our radicals here. And start by, again, applying the quotient rule and take fourth root of 81 over fourth root of y. Now again, try and see if you can simplify fourth root of 81. Is there any number multiplied into itself four times that will give you 81? And that number is going to be 3. 3 over fourth root of y. Just like we did with cube roots, you need a third exponent to cancel out a cube root. With fourth roots, you will need four as your exponent, which will cancel out the fourth root. Now, since you have only y by itself here, when you rationalize these, you will multiply this by fourth root of y to the third power. Fourth root of y to the third, and then this y here will combine to give you y to the fourth power, and then you can cancel out your radical sign. So let's see. On the numerator, you're left with 3 times fourth root of y to the third. Denominator, same index. You can multiply the radicands, and y times y to the third will give you y to the fourth. Okay? And just like I said, fourth power cancels out the fourth root, and your answer will be 3 times fourth root of y to the third over y. It's as simple as that. Okay, one more example involving fourth root here. Again, start out by using your quotient rule. Se fourth root of 70 over fourth root of s squared. Now 70, of course, you can see that you cannot simplify that any further. So all we can do now is try and see how to rationalize this denominator. Now you have s to the second power, which means you need uh, s to the second to make it s to the fourth, and that will help you cancel out the radical. So s to the second, when you rationalize, you multiply by s to the second also. And this happened only because this was already 2 here, and we need 2 more to make it a 4, and this will work for us. So again, you have 4th root, 4th root, so you can multiply 7t with s squared, and that will give you 4th root of 7ts squared over, again, 4th root and 4th root, so multiply the radicands. And s squared times s squared, which is 2 plus 2, will give you s 
to the fourth. Again, the fourth power cancels out the radical, the fourth root, and we end up with a fourth root of 7t s squared over s, and that's it. Okay, so this should give you a good example of how to work with higher powers uh, such as um, higher roots, cube roots, or fourth roots. Okay.